Welcome back Strong Women fans and this is my final video of four from last weekend's crazy amount of events going on to be honest. You've got Strong Woman, Strong Man, you had the Giants live in Glasgow and you also had the boxing. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to round up things that went for the first international was that ever happened. And kicking off first, we had Andrea Thompson from the UK. She was there, Log Press world record holder. Sandra Bradley, she was representing Germany and she's Germany's strongest woman. Then you had American Jessica Fyfen, she was there. So we actually had uh, two Americans, or three, I believe. Um, then we had Nadia Stauer, so yeah, it's three, sorry. Uh, there's one more coming up shortly, which is Bobby Thompson's other half, Corey Butler. She was there as well competing. We had eight athletes in total, by the way, guys and girls. Melissa Peacock from Canada, she really, really impressed me, to be honest. She is a beast. Uh, Donna Moore, obviously three times world's strongest woman and, you know, all-rounder. She was obviously the favourite going into this competition. And then lastly, we actually had the winner, the young Annabelle Chapman from the UK. So obviously we had three English people, Donna, Andrea and Annabelle, and this young lady absolutely smashed the event. So the ladies competed first, which was followed by a 30-minute intermission before the men took to the floor. And just like with the men's one, the events were exactly the same in the same order, kicking off with log press of reps. The main difference here being obviously for the women, they were just pressing 100 kilos. And I say only pressing 100 kilos, because um, a lot of men can't actually press that themselves. So 100 kilos is 220.5 pounds, if any of you aren't aware of that. Um, and here we are showing you, first of all, Andrea and Melissa from Canada. And obviously I'm showing you Andrea because she won, she won the event. So she got eight reps, which was, you know, to be expected. She was the favorite. She has log press world records, as I've covered before in the World's Ultra Strongman Pizza Strength series. Um, but Melissa did really well. Um, she actually got five. Um, there was three athletes that tied for third, by the way. So you had Melissa first with five, obviously going against Andre here. Jessica Fyfen got five, and Nadia Stowers also got five. So two Yanks, one Canadian, and two ladies from the UK. So it was actually Annabelle, the other um, Brit, who got seven reps, which you're going to see in another video coming up shortly. Um, but no, anyway, about this, you can see really good power from Andrea, wrapping them out, no problem, all day long, you know, it's crazy to see that they can move this weight so easy from the floor with such speed, because like I mentioned, even men who've, you know, trained regularly in it, struggle with this sort of weight, so it's really, really impressive, and, um, you know, definitely, well, it's definitely caught my attention, and uh, Melissa did very early on as well, to be honest, because she was just really, really good, obviously, Andrea got eight, but to, to keep up with a world record holder, only losing out by three, that's no, um, that's no poor performance uh, whatsoever. Just want to mention as well quickly before um, Annabelle comes up. So Donna Moore, obviously, as we know, is uh, you know she's world's strongest woman three times, and also she recently won UK strongest woman. She didn't put in a very good performance on the log, but you know not to be harsh on her at all because her overall performance was amazing throughout the whole competition. Here, obviously, we've got Annabelle and uh, Nadia Stowers. The reason why I'm showing them is because obviously Annabelle, like I mentioned before, she came second with seven reps, so only missing out by one to Andrea, but. Annabelle is also a very good um, presser, really, really strong, and she's actually got an Axel record. Um, so I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if she catches up with Andrea, maybe surpasses her soon with the log press record because she, she's just an absolute powerhouse. But quickly back to Donna Moore, she actually ended up with just four reps um, for the pressing event, and as a result, only got sixth place. So not a great start for her, but you know, like like anything, any competition for male and female alike, we have our strong and weak events. Some people all rounders, like Ivers I mentioned in the other video. Others just have their key events and they make up their points there. But nonetheless, back to these two. So obviously, really good um, effort from Nadia. You know, lots of strict pressing to be fair. Uh, but Annabelle, Annabelle, sorry, absolutely smashed it. So well done, ladies. Uh, really, really impressive and a great way to kick off the first event. Definitely. Um, like I said, caught my attention and it's so good to see these women finally come together. I'm really happy that Was have done this. So event two was the yoke. And as we know, for the men, they had 450 kilos, but the women certainly weren't lifting anything light in comparison. So the women had 300 kilos um, or 661 pounds, 0.4 actually. And as you remember, here are the scores, by the way. Obviously Donna, Donna uh, won that event. I'll show you again at the end of the video. Um, so the women had to walk for the max distance in 60 seconds and obviously just like the uh, the men did 
but a little bit less weight. But 300 kilos is 300 kilos, and you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, let's face it. I think most people, even if they're a regular gym goer and they don't do strongman, if you even just to try and lift up 100 kilos, they'll struggle. But it's a very technical movement. It's a moving movement, like as a moving event. Sorry, it's not static. So it's different type of fitness, different type of strength, and and whatnot. There's a lot going on. Um, but Donna here, so obviously, she, I've shown her first because she won. Uh, absolutely smashed it with a, with 62 and a half meters in that time. So you can see she's running up and down the track with that weight like it's nothing. To be fair, I reckon she could probably do a bit more weight. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she trained for it. She could probably do three. 50 plus maybe chasing 400 she really wanted to but does she need to probably not you know she's not she's not going against the men and uh, there's no one here in this event at least who challenged her in distance and time however melissa peacock from canada did actually get a very good time um it was not actually that far well, sorry not time but distance so she wasn't too far off from donna to be fair um but, you know, Donna is definitely the more seasoned and experienced athlete, so hence why she performed a little bit better. So we had Donna at 62 and a half, uh, Melissa Peacock at 60.6 metres, and also Andrea Thompson from the UK. She got a respectable score of 57.8 metres, so well done to Andrea and also Melissa. So here we've got, obviously, Melissa performance, and you can see she's literally hammering down that track really, really, really fast, super quick. And to be fair, when I first watched this, I thought she might actually beat Donna, and obviously it explains why the uh, the time, well, the distance, sorry, was so close, because... She was fast, you know, fast as hell. Um, Jessica, unfortunately, didn't do as well. Um, but nonetheless, still, all the athletes, by the way, managed to move all the weights. That's the main thing. No one bombed out. No one zeroed. Everyone got a score. Everyone was able to lift the weights um, that they intended to, apart from the at stones, obviously, because, you know, 10 stones is not for everyone. But all the other implements and all the other weights and whatnot was lifted on the day. Men and women alike, it was. They all did it and they didn't have any problems. Good thing for the women's side, though, there was no injuries. Um, and I will say they all seem to be a bit fitter. A lot of the men were struggling a lot more. And, you know, they all say it's relative, but these women were lifting some big weights and they weren't as gassed as a lot of the guys were. So I would say they're probably a little bit more athletic and their conditioning's a lot more on point. But well done, ladies. Good second event. And you can see here again, just pulled up the scores. So Donna, Melissa and Andrea. And Annabelle came fourth, by the way, as you can see there, 49 and a half. So event three, farmer's walk. Back to it again. So for the women, they actually had to carry a, a total of 110 kilos per side or 242.5 pounds um, or 55 kilos in each hand. So for the women's, Annabelle won it. She got a score of 17.01 seconds. Obviously, this was a 30, minute, 30 meters farmer's walk for time. So they should to do that 30 meters as fast as possible. Annabelle won. Uh, Donna came second, you know, close, literally 0.4 of a second. So she got 17.05. Very, very close from these two ladies. And uh, Corey Butler from America, she actually got a respectable score as well. Um, it was all sub 20 for these three ladies, by the way. Corey actually did it in 17.66. So a little bit slower than obviously Annabelle and Donna, but nonetheless, still a respectable score, um, you know, to take third place spots. So, you know, well done to her. Here's Annabelle going head to head with Andrea. And uh, you can see the weights look like they're absolutely nothing for them, you know, and May I say, you know, I'm a man and, you know, I do farmer's carries and my PB so far, I mean, I haven't trained it all the time. I've done 140 a side, so they're not far off me. And, um, you know, th that was really heavy. And even 110, when I pick up 110 and move it quickly, it's a struggle. So massive respect and understanding of, you know, how strong these ladies really are and athletic to, you know, it's one thing to pick up that weight and stagger around it, but they're actually moving with speed and, you know, they're efficient. There's no, there's no like, you know, major swaying. I mean, Jessica here, she did struggle a bit, to be fair. She's going head to head here with Corey. So obviously I've shown you all three. So you can just get a little bit of air time for some of the other athletes as well, because I'm trying my best to show you guys every athlete, but obviously I can't show you every event and every every head to head because the video will be too long and also i have to respect copyright and fair use for world title strongman and core sports world naturally so you know i can only show so much and these were the best highlights in my opinion so well done ladies really impressive um really good from corey as well to get her first third place spot in the event um but it's quite apparent at this point may i say that 
it kind of become a two-person competition between Annabelle and uh, Donna, just like it did with uh, Matthias Kidasowski and Alexei Novikov for the men. So obviously we know there's still two more events coming up shortly and anything can change, but they're looking strong, the two ladies I mentioned just then, going into the fourth event. So the fourth event, as we, we, we learned from the women's first, it was actually a chain railway. And obviously what they had to do here, these are the scores quickly. Melissa won, by the way, Annabelle second. And what we had to do here, sorry, uh, Sandra Bradley actually was third, just to quickly add that from Germany. So they had to push the, um, the weighted sled, then as fast as they could to the end of the track, then run back, sprint back, grab the chains, which attached down the track and pull it, pull it back to themselves. Everyone had different techniques, longer arms, longer arms and you know, longer wings, wingspan definitely helped here. Um, the resistance obviously in both directions increased as the chains reached the full extension. So like I mentioned, um, Melissa Peacock, she actually won this event. So it's her first uh, event that she won from Canada. She got a, a time of 30.60 seconds. Annabelle, you know, not too far off behind her, 31.83. And Sandra here, you can see going against uh, Nadia, she actually got a score of 32.91. So well done, Sandra. And Sandra actually said um, before the uh, the competition happened on Instagram that she loves events like this. And she was actually training for it in the gym. I actually made showed a segment of her doing this event, similar event, um, in her home gym um, on my previous video. So, uh, yeah, she was kind of right with the guests on the mystery event. Not too sure about the weights, by the way. Um, I couldn't really put up the information on just how heavy those weights were, those chains and whatnot. But I imagine the chains are probably 50 kilos each, something like that. Uh, they look quite similar to ones I've used in the gym for dipping. So they're probably about 50 kilos or more. But nonetheless, it looked difficult. And obviously, the closer it got, the harder it looked like. Because, you know, you could see the, the athletes having to use more of their body to pull it. It wasn't just all arm and shoulders and back. It was leg drive as well. So another good event and a really impressive performance from from all ladies like I said everyone managed to do it and no one had a major issue here we got the head-to-head -head between Donna and Annabelle as we know Annabelle obviously won um, because she got the second uh, fastest time of the day uh, but Donna Moore still nonetheless did really well um, but I think Annabelle just a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient with her technique because you know it doesn't matter how strong you are you got a good technique with that rope good cardio and you know also just usually, not in all cases, to get into that, that start block again to go first does give you that little bit of advantage in a few seconds. It can make all the difference. Well done to Annabelle. Again, looking really strong going into the final event, which, as we know, were the Atlas Stones. And, you know, the Atlas Stones, I mean, there's the only competition World's Ultra Strong Strongman that actually uses 10 stones. All the others you see normally is five, maybe six, um, Castle stones, Atlas stones, whatever you want to call them. We're going to get to that shortly in a sec. I'm just showing this last video here where we've got obviously Melissa going head to head with, I believe that's Jessica Fyfen again. So obviously for um, Melissa from Canada, sorry, she won this one. And I think, you know, this is this is where I started to think to myself, this lady, you know, she, she does well on the Atlas stones. She might actually win the comp. It's a po real possibility that she could win because she was starting to really come through as a really strong athlete and competitor and she wasn't really showing any signs of slowing down. And, uh, you know, she definitely caught my attention because, you know, I've got to add, by the way, guys and girls, she's like under 90 kilos. Like, she's a light, she's a lightweight, you know, she's in the low 80s. So to be able to boss it like that against people who were like 90, 100 or kilos plus, more experienced, older, bigger, was really, really impressive. Obviously, Annabelle's the exception there. She's younger and uh, not, not huge in terms of her, her, her weight and size, but nonetheless, well done to Melissa, Annabelle and Sandra. Andrea, by the way, as you can see there, she took the fourth place spot. So going into the final event, these are the scores. Annabelle's obviously the head, Andrea and then Donna. So it's actually all the Brits. Atlas Stones, final event and always the most exciting. So for the women, their stones range from 60 kilos. Here's the scores quickly so you can see who won there. Well done to Corey, we'll show you shortly on her. Um, started at 60 kilos, so 132.3 pounds, and the final stone was 150 kilos, or 330.7 pounds. So, bit of a difference between the men's, but I will say the men's ended on 200 kilos, so it's only a 50 kilo difference. So these women were moving some serious weights. You know, you, you can't you can't write that off as poor in any way whatsoever. So 
Um, let me just quickly reiterate the for the women's on this one. Three ladies actually got all nine stones. Donna Moore, Melissa Peacock, and Corey Butler from America. And you can see Corey is going against um, Sandra here from Germany. And Donna actually got the fastest score. She took this event and she is known for being one of the best for um, Atlas Stone. She's obviously got a world's ultimate strongman feats of strength record. Melissa, I did not think she would do as well as she did. I was really impressed. And obviously Corey as well. I mean, she absolutely bossed it. So like I said, all three ladies got the nine stones. And, you know, 150, I mean, even 100 kilos is difficult to lift. And this is after, this event is after all the others you've seen previously. And it was noted by Big Loss and a few other people that to go for two moving events straight after the log press, then into obviously the mystery, into this. I mean, their bodies must have been absolutely in pieces. So tired and, and whatnot. But I'll be honest, they didn't look tired, these women. They looked like they had more in the tank. I was so impressed with their athleticism and their conditioning and their overall ability. I mean, I didn't doubt it before. You know, I did my research on them and I watched clips and videos and whatnot. But I, just, I was, you know, they definitely exceeded my expectation in all aspects. And I think for the men, they kind of thought, shit, you know, like these girls, they're fit and they also could make us look bad. So we definitely need to show our best on the day when we compete half an hour later. But I will say the men obviously got a little advantage because they saw that mystery event. They can mentally plan ahead for what they were going to do. So they definitely had an advantage there. Um, also with all the events in general, assessing them how they looked. But I think it was really good for the men actually watching the women and the women to go first because, you know, the men were egging the women on and there was really good camaraderie between them all and support, which was really nice to see. And, you know, I really hope that after this, World's Ultimate Strongman has definitely plugged and helped to promote the sport more for women and there will be a lot more going on potentially a world's strongest woman competition let's hope so here we got annabelle going against donna moore really really sorry uh, melissa against donna moore pretty much neck and neck um, at this point so obviously donna is one motioning them all no problems whatsoever and obviously melissa's taking that lap uh, approach first just I think to try and conserve the energy also she's not as tall and as big as Donna so she's just choosing her technique which works for her obviously now at this point usually for most athletes many women like when they get to the seventh stone seventh or eighth they start to slow down a bit naturally fatigues uh, setting in lactic acid plus also those weights are getting heavier and heavier but Donna here just looks so strong and composed and focused and you know, it wasn't a surprise that she she won this one. Um, and I'll be honest, slightly disappointed she didn't get 10, but she didn't need to. She, you know, she got nine and, you know, nine is a good result. It was for three people, at least. Um, not all the athletes managed to get to nine, as, you, as I mentioned. You'll see the final scores shortly. But um, it's good that Donna did because just like Andrea, Andrea is known for being pretty much the best log, log, best log presser in the world for women. It would be quite embarrassing for any athlete to really underperform on your on the event that you're known for. You know, the event that people would look at you and think, yeah, that's her or his event. And if you underperform, is it because of injury? Is it because of something else? You know, there's, there's different variables, but ultimately Donna showed that she is still the best stone lifter. Um, and, you know, I hope that in years to come, if she doesn't retire too soon, there'll be a lot more from her. We can see even better better things from her, but we'll see. She has announced from the UK Strongest Man a few weeks ago, that she, sorry, UK Strongest Woman, that she thinks she's kind of nearing the end of her like competitive career. So, you know, we might not be seeing much more from her, but I think, you know, she's got a little bit more in her. She's definitely not out for the count. So well done, ladies. Really good, really good scores, really good events. So there you go. Corey, Donna and Melissa Peacock. I think it was actually Corey from this that took the fastest time. But nonetheless, this is the final score here. Annabelle won with 32, Donna with 30 and Melissa closely with 29. So really, really close scores between the top three. Really, really impressive. Um, you know, what I loved about these women, just like the men, is how supportive they are for each other. No real major rivalry or beef. No one looked like they were hating, jealous, angry, upset. It just seemed very sincere 
and uh, and genuine and you know that's what sport's all about really whether it's individual or team it's about supporting one another and you know I think these ladies they um, definitely showcased what they can do and what, where the sport can go and World's Ultra Strongman definitely highlighted that as well and I'd like to thank World's Ultra Strongman of course what World for putting this event on it's great for me to see in the fans and other people you know what can what else is going on and what other people can offer to the table it's not always about the men's there's incredible feats of strength and, and athleticism that can be showcased and witnessed and records be broken by women alike and you know these women are very strong mentally physically emotionally and so on so well done ladies and just quickly turn to annabelle two days later after the winning that she flew to the uk and won british strongest woman so what a beast you know how amazing to do that that really shows something and uh, she is special and also i'd say the rising star of the uh, women so hope to say this video guys and girls if you did please as always remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll be seeing some more videos on the women very soon so take care and i'll see you soon amigo and finish signing out